So this video covers uh, the ASAD model, and specifically, uh, we want to think a bit about these different two different equilibria that we have in the ASAD model: the short run equilibrium and the medium run equilibrium. Recall that the medium run equilibrium price expectations are fulfilled, so that P is equal to PE and uh, output is at its natural level, y is equal to yn, which means as well that u is equal to un, so unemployment is at its natural level. Now I've uh, prepared a little uh, drawing of the uh, ASAD model that I'll use a couple of times here. The first thing is that, uh, as drawn here, this is a medium run equilibrium. y is equal to yn and p is equal to uh, pe. The medium run equilibrium, of course, is equal to, uh, is as well a short run equilibrium. But what now if uh, we have a change in the financial or the goods market? I want to consider two cases. The first is that uh, M rises. So we have a monetary expansion. What happens? Well, AD shifts right with the monetary expansion, we had a decrease in interest rates, a rise in the price level, and an expansion here along AS. This blue point is a short run equilibrium. At this blue point, Y is larger than YN, and P is larger than PE. That is a short run equilibrium, where Y is not equal to YN and P is not equal to PE. How, what happens though once time passes and we approach the medium run? So in the medium run, uh, these two conditions need to be fulf fulfilled with equality so that uh, the question is how do we return to uh, labor market equilibrium uh, and, and that is uh, through uh, adaptive expectations. So if P is larger than PE, uh, Participants in the labor market, the wage bargainers essentially, will as assume that uh, future prices will catch up to these higher prices, so that PE rises. And if PE rises, AS shifts up. So as AS shifts up, it continues to do so until we're reaching this new equilibrium at which again y is equal to yn and p is equal to pe. Let me denote as well this point p larger than pe and this move which is that pe increases. So we have a short run equilibrium where goods and financial market are in equilibrium but the labor market is not and price expectations rise and uh, first over the short run, output rises, the unemployment rate falls, but in the medium run, the unemployment rate rises again and output falls. Now this result is uh, quite important and is labeled as monetary neutrality. Now that means that we have in the medium run, uh, monetary expansions are neutral with respect to output. Monetary expansions do not have an effect on the unemployment rate or output in the medium run, but they do have an effect in the short run. And they do have an effect on the price level in the medium run. You see that adjustment ultimately comes about through an increase in the price level. So neutrality refers to Y or U but not to P. Monetary expansion leads in the medium run to increases in the price level, in the short run to increases in output. Let's go to a new page. I'm going to use the same diagram here. Uh, let's see if I can See if I can move this a bit here to the center. That looks better. Okay. So let's now consider. Uh, just hold on one second. Let me. Oh, 
Oh, I, I don't have time right yeah. now. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm okay. Write me an email. Okay. So uh, apologies for that. So let's get back to the diagram. So we have here. Uh, again the ASAD model and we want to consider a, a second example namely uh, an, uh, a fiscal consolidation so we consider an, a decrease in uh, government expenditures or equivalently a rise in taxes in order to reduce the budget deficit that means that AD shifts towards the left here and we get an equilibrium that is below the natural level of output. So y is less than yn and p is less than pe. Again, this blue point here is a short run equilibrium and the question is how do we get adjustment to a new medium run equilibrium? The uh, mechanism is the same as in the previous example namely through adaptive expectations <coughs> as the actual prices the actual price level is less than the expected price level <coughs> price price expectations are adjusted upwards uh, sorry downwards price expectations are adjusted downwards and hence the AS curve shifts downwards until it reaches the uh, equilibrium point. Now that's a really messy uh, curve. Let's try it again. Until it reaches a intersection at this point. So AS shifts down after AD shifts left with PE falling. So we first see a move along this AS curve and then a move along this AD curve to achieve the new, uh, to get to the new equilibrium. We see as well that here P is less than PE and here in the second equilibrium P then is again equal to PE since <coughs> Y is equal to YN. Uh, <coughs> and we see that the adjustment comes with a pronounced fall in the price level and uh, a return to uh, the uh, nat natural level of output. What happens along the way? Think about it. First, as we have this contraction, uh, the price level falls, which means that the interest rate falls. So what happens to investment is kind of ambiguous. It depends on uh, whether the investment response to interest rates or to output is stronger, but definitely output falls due to the overall reduction in expenditures. Uh, but then as interest rates fall further due to a further monetary expansion uh, due to uh, the price fall, investment unambiguously rises while G has fallen. So what happens along the way here is a change in the composition of output. So we have a composition effect, the budgetary consolidation, the fiscal contraction <coughs> reduces the government share of output and increases the private share of output. So in the medium run investment rises and government expenditures fall uh, and the level of output remains unchanged. <coughs>